welcome back to my channel so on today's video i'll be showing you how i made this straight neckline dress so well i have gonna draw a line a straight line and this will be my shoulder point sorry my shoulder line and guys i ma i folded my pattern paper into half so now i'm gonna measure all the vertical points which is the bust point which is 10 inches also my waist point seven and a half inches and then from my waist i'm gonna measure my hip line and for my hip i'm gonna go down by nine inches and then from the hip then i will just measure the length of where i want my dress to be so that's it so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna draw the horizontal lines for the hip i'm gonna start with the hip now i'll take my shoulder to shoulder measurement which is seven and i'll go down by one inch and then from the shoulder to shoulder measurement i'm gonna divide the line by two and then from there i'll just join these two points together this one is for the shoulder lobe so for the armhole, I'm going to take the arm circumference and then divide it by 2, which mine is 8 inches. And then I will just join the two points together, like so. And then I will also just make another horizontal lines there, like so. so now i'm gonna be measuring my neck my neck line so i'm gonna go down by seven inches and then after going down by seven inches what i will do is i'll divide my shoulder slope into two and then mark a point and then after making a point, then I will just draw a straight vertical line. Like so. And I will join it with the point that I measured. The 7 inches. So on this line is just half. So that's my neckline for the front. Well, now I'll be measuring the armhole, so I'm going to divide this line here by four in by two inches, sorry, which I marked four. And then I will take my bust measurement, the bust circumference, divide by four, and then I will just mark. And then I will just take a curve roll or you can also use a free hand because it's just only joining these two points together so well on all the points that i'm about to measure right now i'm gonna divide all the circumference by four so here on the past i divided by four and then i got nine on the waist i'm gonna divide my waist circumference by four then make a mark then on the hip line i will do the same divide the circumference 
and also on the length i will take the circumference and divide it by four that's it so now i'm gonna go ahead and join all the points together and i will also use a curve rule to make a curve where the line joins so that's it i have my neckline and my bust so guys i advise you to label before you do anything so you don't get confused with the lines so it's from the neckline the bust the waist and the hip And now I'm going to just mark half an inch for the seam allowance. So I'm going to just dot it out and then later I will just throw with the straight rule. So if you like the video so far, please like and also subscribe so that anytime I post a new video you can get a not notification so well now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my tape measure and then i will just go down by two and a half inches so the reason why I'm going by two and a half inches is that I don't want, I want a, the neckline on the back to be a little bit low. So that's why I measured two and a half inches right there. And then I will just make a straight line here, which I will just cut out. So this is be my back and this is be my front. And then I'll go ahead and cut out. But if you want your back and your front neckline to be the same, you can just leave it like that. But I wanted my back to be a little bit low. Hence why I went down by two and a half inches. So this is how it looks. And now I can cut out on my fabric now I will arrange my fabric piece and cut on fold so I will just take my pattern paper place on the on top of the fabric and then just trace out the pattern And I'm going to start by cutting out the back and then after cutting out the back, I will cut out the front. And for the front, I will take the front pattern paper, place on my material and then just cut out. And this is how it looks. And remember, the front and the back, the only difference is here on the neckline because the back is a little bit lower than the front. now i'll be cutting out the interfacing for the interfacing i will take my fabric here like so and then fold it like this and i will take my pattern paper i will start up by cutting the interfacing for the front 
so i will just make sure that it's here on the bust line it ends on the bust line and then i will just cut out so this is the interfacing part so for the interfacing i'm just gonna end on the bust part on the bust line there Since you can see I'm using the front pattern piece, then now I will take the back pattern piece and do the same. And at the end, this is what I have. I have the back and also the front. What I will do now is I'm going to make a zigzag stitch here on the bottom on all my interfacing pieces. And this is what I have. Well, now I'll take my front interfacing piece and attach it to my front pattern for the dress like this so i'm gonna just place it the race right side facing and then i will attach the two Then I'm going to go ahead and make a stitch. I'm going to sew this part here. And also for the back, I'm going to repeat what I did on the front piece. I'm going to take the back facing, place it on my pattern, the right side facing. And then go ahead and just sew so I will just sew from this here to here to the shoulder and then to the end there And that's it. I have my piece joined together. And then I will just turn the shoulders inside out for my back and my front. So after doing that, what I will do is I'm going to iron this part here. And then after ironing, I will just make a top stitch here. And if you check closely, I've made a stop stitch so what i'm doing now is i'm gonna attach join the my shoulders together the right side facing So while I'm done joining the shoulder together, then I will go ahead and just join also the sides using a. And after sewing there, I will show you the final look. Oh, and also 
don't forget to hem the bottom part of your dress so this is how my dress looks technically i'm done sewing my dress so i'm just gonna iron it again and then i'll be done and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe share and also leave a comment i'll see you on the next video